In this video, you will learn how to use eval function of Python to convert strings into numeric values. I have already opened Python ideally. Now suppose I have a variable a containing value 10 within the pair of single quotes. When I show type of this variable a, you can see it shows str means it's a string value now i want to convert it into a number for that i can use eval function as eval and inside the parentheses i can write name of variable a when i just write here b it will show 10 and you can see type of b is int so eval has converted a string value 10 into integer value 10 Similarly, suppose I have a variable C containing 2.5 within the pair of single quotes. So it means it is containing a string value. By using eval, the when I write D, it will show as 2.5 and type of D is also float. Now suppose I type true within the pair of single quotes and store it into E. True is here a string value. To convert it into boolean, I can write here eval E. You see, and when I type write here type F, it shows bool. So means F is a boolean type variable. Similarly, I'm having a complex value as 2.3j within the pair of single quotes. It is a string. To convert it into number or a complex type, I can write here eval, then g. And you can see type of h is complex. So in this way, I have converted different string values into respective numeric values. Now I can also use eval function to read numeric values. As we are already aware that the input function can be used to read values. For example, I read to I want to read age. As we know, age is a integer variable so I can write it a is equal to eval then input enter your age suppose I write here 10 and you see the type of age is int Similarly, to read a string value, suppose I want to read percentage. Enter your percentage. Suppose I put here 98.9. When I write name of variable, it will show okay I made a mistake in the name you see it is shown as 98.9 and when I show type you can see it is float here similarly I can also read a boolean value Suppose I type true. Type of choices bool shown here. Similarly, to read a complex value, I 
I can also use even suppose I write here 2.5 plus 3.5 J type of C is complex we can also input a tuple using eval for the type here values separated by commas now these values 2 3 4 6 7 will be stored as a tuple when i type here t1 you see it is shown within the pair of parentheses and when i show the type of t1 it is displayed as tuple we can also evaluate mathematical expressions using eval function which has given inside the pair of single quotes or double quotes so for example I write here even you see the answer is 0 and uh, type of answer will be int so in the, this way eval function can be used to convert strings into integers and to read numeric boolean and complex values along with the tuple.